everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Unoriginal Craft. But first, before we start, I'm going to torch you by eating a chocolate heart in honor of the Valentine's Day coming up. Mmm. Oh, so good. Mmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> this reference has been brought to you by Nintendo Capri Sun. If you know who it is, if you don't know who that is, check out his channel. <laughs> okay. Who <laughs> I finished munching down was chocolate heart. Oh yeah! I changed my name! Look! Unoriginal Chris! No, I freaking want it to be. I want it to be unoriginally Chris, but no! Stupid character limits. I hate them. Um, so yeah, I'm unoriginally Chris now. Yay! In between episodes, I, um, I cover the rest of this arena with grass. I, like, this entire section down here, I pretty much didn't cover with grass because I ran out of time. I thought it was, like, at least, like, 40 or 50 minutes in the last episode, but probably it was only, like, 40 or... 35 minutes at the very maximum. At least that's the amount of raw footage I have. I, I haven't edited it yet though, so I, I don't even know how much footage I'm going to use, but I guess we should just wait and see. <coughs> so yeah, welcome back guys. God freaking dang it, stupid phone. Ugh, shut up. Um, okay. <laughs> that's a good segue actually because... Ah, uh, uh, it keeps going off and on. Uh, uh, it's charging, but it's not. Stop it. Stupid god dang. Uh, it'll, it'll start charging and it'll just stop charging. It's, it's a big pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Uh, but uh, it's a good segue into one of the things I want to talk about this episode. It's freaking iPhone chargers. I hate them so freaking much. <sighs> so, in the past, like... I first got an iPod, actually, uh, back when I was probably in grade 10, so that was what? I've been out of high school for two years now, so that's four years ago now, I guess. And to this day, I have my very first charger for my very first iPod, and it works absolutely great. Fantastic. I love it. So that's four years. I mean, the charger isn't in the best of shapes, as in it's pretty, like, uh, raggedy looking. The rubber around it is all, like... I was going to say corroded, but I guess that's not the right word. It's all, like, kind of messy and doesn't really look the best. But uh, it works. It works fine. But uh, ever since I got an iPhone 5C, which is just over a year now, actually, um, oh, it's giving me nothing but freaking nightmares, man. They suck. I'm seriously on, like, my... Uh, I, I had to go... I don't like that at all. I had to go buy a new iPhone 5 charger last night. And the 30 bucks each. And, I mean, that's pretty freaking expensive. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty mad that they're always breaking on me. Like I said... Actually, I don't think I even said... This is, like, my fourth or fifth one the past year. Actually, probably more than that. Probably sixth or seventh. So, that's, like, approximately... The cables last about two months. And consider the $30. Like, that gets pretty freaking expensive pretty quickly. So... Yeah, I don't know why the iPhone 5 charger cables don't seem to freaking work at all. I mean, they work, but they, um, oh, this is all course dirt. Yes, it is. They work, but they break really freaking easily. And I don't know why, and it's, oh! <laughs> you can tell I'm mad by my complaining voice. Um, oh, my phone keeps going off. Shut up, phone. Shut up, phone. Um,. Yeah, so, iPhone 5, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I almost feel like maybe the reason why, and I'm just thinking this is literally right now, maybe the reason why, um, the I, my phone charger isn't lasting as long, perhaps it's just because I use, I use my phone charger a lot more than I use my, I, or my uh, iPod charger. Like, in the past, like, few months, I haven't listened to any music at all, and I should probably grab more dirt. I haven't listened to any music at all, so I haven't had a reason to, like, charge my iPhone, or my, um, 
iPod. In fact, it's sitting here right beside my monitor, all dusty because it's I don't use it. In fact, it was getting so dusty that I actually flipped it upside down to prevent dust from getting inside of it because all four corners are cracked and you can see the insides. You can see the guts of the iPhone or the iPod. I've had an iPhone for a while now, so I'm just used to calling um, everything like iPods and iPhones, just just iPhones. <laughs> And it was weird because it was the opposite when I only had an iPod for the longest time. But, uh, yeah, so I guess maybe just because I use my iPhone charger every single day that maybe it just, they just break quicker. But still, I mean, I have other cables that, like, have lasted a lot longer than don't get wrecked. And it's not like I don't take terrible care of my cables either. Like, they're, most of the time the cables just, they don't have any signs of damage, but they just stop working. And then you'll have to do that thing where it's like you have to adjust, ex like, you have to pinpoint the exact spot where the, the, um, the wires connect properly and they, they can charge your phone. And that is a big pain in the ass, especially when it's like, I had I one time actually I took apart my iPhone, or not, the, I didn't take apart my iPhone, I took apart the charger cable, hoping to maybe like reconnect wires or something, it didn't work at all. And it frustrated me, so... And this was later in the day, and I needed my phone charged for some reason. I don't even really remember why. But so what I ended up doing is going to freaking 7-Eleven and uh, buying one from there. And oh, good God, I don't recommend that at all. Like, that iPhone cable lasted a day. Actually, it's probably longer. It was probably three or four days. But yeah, it did not last long at all, and it was really freaking frustrating. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got a new cable. I don't have to worry about it for a few more months, except for the fact that this cable's gonna die in just a few days. <sighs> so yeah, that's the story of my life. It's pretty bad, actually. Uh, I mean, I, I is that really all I wanted to do here? I guess I almost feel like logging into my creative world, so I'm gonna show you guys what's going on, you know. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna tease you by saying I'm gonna do it, and then I'm not going to. Yay! So I'm, I'm kind of having, trying to have this hill extend a little bit. By the way, I haven't really introduced anything what I'm doing today. Uh, more arena work! Yay! More inner arena work, to be more specific. Uh, I do have some ideas of what I want to do. Actually, I, I pretty much know exactly what I'm doing with most of these. I need fuds. I need the fuds. Uh, also, I'm on with no one today. Uh, I guess that's really it for all I wanted to talk about, about freaking iPhone cables and how terrible they suck. They suck the poopies. But, um, let's move on to the next topic. My name change. Yeah, I guess I could talk a bit more in depth about that. So, uh, for those that don't know and didn't really pay attention to my name before, for the longest time I was Lord Earth 13. And you're wondering, why is your name Lord of 13? That doesn't fit anything. And I've actually explained millions of times where my username came from. So I'll just give a quick rundown of it. Lord of 13 comes from RuneScape. It was my username there. Actually, no, actually, I made up Lord of Earth before, long before that, actually. I made Lord of Earth up at a, a Golden Sun forum, which is a Game Boy Advance game. Uh, they had forums for it. And actually, that was the first real internet place I ever joined, like the... No, I, I, honestly, I was going to say deep internet, but that's definitely not what it is at all. But, um, it was like the first time I actually went in depth in the internet, in, on the internet. And why is this not growing? Everything else is growing except you. The heck, man. But, um, uh, when I w was joining a forum, I think my first name was number one Golden Sun fan. And that wasn't like ironic or actually, I guess irony isn't the right word. It wasn't like, uh, me poking fun at or anything like I was actually like a pretty big fan of the game Golden Sun and the sense that it was my first ever uh, real game I guess where uh, oh my frames got all droppy there it was the first real game I ever played I got it when I was like six or seven and uh, it, it, uh, it, yeah it was just it was just one of my favorite games ever and then when I found out there's like other people on the internet that have played this game as well, it made me really freaking excited. <laughs> uh, and so I joined. Ooh, I need iron. Since freaking Depper and Judah stole my iron, those assholes. Freaking just beating my ass at Aberules multiple times. Uh. <laughs> but uh, when I figured out that multiple people have um, played the same game I have, go figure. 
I immediately joined up on those forums, and I, yeah, I think number one Golden Sun fan was my first name on the internet ever. Actually, that's not true. There was an I had I on Neopets I had my username was Chris, and then a long string of random numbers because every other Chris name was taken, of of course. But um, oh, I know I just realized I only have one bucket of water. I need an infinite source if I want to do this crap. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Lord Earth came from the fact that I loved Lord of the Rings at the time when I was trying to think of a username, an actual username that was the number one Golden Sun fan, because, wow, just wow. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Lord from Lord of the Rings, and then Earth came from my favorite element. My favorite of the four basic elements was Earth from the Golden Sun games. Wait, I did not do this how I wanted to do it at all. Crap. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I don't know how well multi-layered like water. Like I want to have all the water like at this level. Do I? Do I want to do that? Yeah, I do want to do that. There's some water up here. So yeah, um, blah, Lord from Lord of the Rings, Earth from my favorite of the four basic elements: Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire. Most of you probably know that from Captain Planet, actually. Then just you know basic alchemy stuff <laughs> but uh is that gonna work is there, is there a way to make an infinite spring with the things i have been given here let me just break this block out for now where's the yeah yeah did that yeah it worked yeah me okay i don't know if this is gonna work at all i guess we're about to find out um oh no i made a terrible mistake uh huh. Okay, so far so okay. I don't think it's gonna work, guys. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh no. Oh no. Hello. Hello. Try to be the squeaky teenager guy from. <laughs> I was gonna say Lord of the Rings from uh the the Simpsons. Well, actually, this isn't too bad so far. Oh, actually, there is a way to fix this pretty easily too. Yay! I made another hazard in the arena. Um, you know, I should have brought more cobblestone and cracked stone so I could throw that under there because that's going to be a bigger pain in the ass to dig that out. Um, yeah, uh, the 13 and Laura 13 came from the fact that when I started playing RuneScape, yes, I played RuneScape for a long time, and actually I started making a list of topics that I wanted to talk about in my, uh, Let's Plays. Um, okay, maybe I should, I'm going to dig out a trench. I'm going to make a little river. No, actually, I don't want it to lead here. Crap, I kind of feel like checking out where it leads to my uh, creative world. You know what? We're going to do that, and I'm going to do some fancy blurring once I get to my creative world, so you guys will kind of get a hint of what the arena is going to look like eventually. But, uh, oh, blurs, you guys can't see. Crap. You guys can't see. Crap. If I'm blurring correctly. Oh, I'm flying around. Am I cheating in the unoriginal crafts? No. Oh, excuse me. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, intro Oh, I see how that works. Okay. Did you guys see any of that? I hope I remembered to blur that out. Ha 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 ha. Hopefully I was paying attention in editing. Okay, we're back there. Um Okay, so essentially what I seem to do is maybe we'll go here. And then Oh boy, I gotta get a little bit of leg. But that's okay. Uh I mean, this doesn't look very natural right now, but just wait, guys! It'll all look great eventually! Uh, actually, I want some dirt there. Essentially, all I did is I just keep a little line of dirt here, and then I can dig up some more of this. Let's make it look natural. El natural. Uh, I'll have it be a bit wider. Uh, yeah, Lord of 13, that's my name, don't wear it out, but not anymore. That's one of those names where it's like you look back on, the equivalent, I guess, being when, um, I always see, like, a meme on the internet, like, just picture yourself looking at your username that you made, or from, with your Hotmail accounts. Just look at it now, it's so cheesy, and, yeah, it really is, I did not wear that well at all, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> 
Um, that, that is a regretful name. Uh, it's just really nerdy sounding, I guess. And I, st I actually probably still occasionally use it if like un unoriginally Chris isn't available or something. Actually, that's not true. I don't even remember the last time I used it, but I feel like I would maybe use it if I was playing something and I just want a throwaway name or something that I wouldn't really care what people saw my name. <laughs> um. Yeah, so unoriginally Chris. Yeah, I guess people will be a lot more curious where unoriginally Chris came from more than Lord of 13 because, well, maybe not because I mean, Lord of 13 is the anomaly in my like, well, I was gonna say branding, but I guess not branding, just you know, where my name stuff comes from, my namesake. Um, yeah, so RuneScape was a game I used to play. Ha 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 ha. Uh, actually, I was not going to talk about this in this episode, but oh, I guess I'm doing it now. And I don't like how perfectly straight that is. There we go. Much better. So, RuneScape I actually learned from my friends in, um, oh, I want to say grade five. Uh, I remember hearing from my friends of a mystical lens. Oh, you know what? I didn't dig the rest of this, rest of this out and replace it with dirt. Well, maybe I should just leave it as stone and whatever else is down there. I mean, I'll, if there's any cobble, I'll get rid of that. Yeah, like this, for example. You must leave. Yeah, I think it was grade 5 where my friends were telling me about a mystical lands where you could explore for years on end. And it was great and never-ending fun. Ha, 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 ha. And, um, I was like, yeah, you should play this game with us, Chris. And I was like, ugh, I don't want to play a game. I hate games. And that actually was pretty much what my... Well, I didn't hate games, but I didn't want to play RuneScape for whatever reason. I guess because I was like, this is sound nerdy sounding. I don't want to play it. I'm not a nerd. I'm not a nerd. My freaking phone. Stop charging and uncharging and... Ah! <sighs> if you guys can't hear that, I just got mad for nothing. But I'm assuming you guys can hear that. My phone keeps... It starts charging and then it just unplugs itself. and ah! Okay, there we go. That's essentially what I want to do for this hazard. So, clearly, some of these uh, doors you come out of, they're more ideal strategically than others. Like, for example, I came out of here. If I was about to fight four people, I came out of here. Maybe, like, dive down to here. No one would see him. I could go, uh, bow and arrow sniping, bam! Shoot someone from down up there. Or maybe if I want the high ground when there's more obstacles and you can't very clearly see every four of the corners there. Go up here and I can get a nice little lookout. Um... But yeah, <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, Great Days of RuneScape. So yeah, my friends convinced me to finally play it. And then when you first start playing RuneScape, there's this thing called Tutorial Islands, where you have to. At least there used to be. I I don't think Tutorial Island exists anymore. Although there is an old school version of the game I know now. Uh, and I, I believe Tutorial Island is back in that portion of the game. All right, great. Um, now what do I do? <laughs> I've already completed everything I want to do in this episode, but there's still so much time. I'm going to grab some lily pads, actually, eventually. And Ooh, actually, there's probably lily pads hanging around in the swamp over here. Let's go on a little walk, shall we? Let's go grab some lily pads. Uh, great, just as it's going to nighttime. This is going to end well, isn't it? Isn't it? It's going to end swimmingly. So, um... Yeah, I finally played RuneScape, and I was on stuck on, like, Tutorial Island for some reason, which is stupid. I got stuck on the tutorial. It's like, who gets stuck on a tutorial? I do. It's because I'm stupid. <laughs> but, um, wow, that was a really freaking annoying sound. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't get... I was stuck on it, and then my friends, like, had to seriously walk me through how to get through the tutorial, and, it, yeah, it was pretty bad. It was almost as bad as when uh, Minecraft tri Minecraft Chick tried to play Minecraft for the first time, and she could not figure out that WASD was how you moved instead of the arrow keys. It's like, ugh, so cringy. What's that? What is that? Is this, that's just a one log. Okay, that's bugging me. So I'm gonna break you. Break! I'm coming on. Wait, could you just punch these? Do you get them? Oh, you do get them. I don't need no tweezers. I don't need these freaking tweezers. But yeah, so my friends finally helped me set up my RuneScape account. And I one of the very first memories I have is walking through one of the cities of Verrock. And Lumbridge is the very first city you start off in, actually. Um, and promising to my friends that I'm going to get level 99 in 
are level 100 in all my skills. And I remember them saying, I think you can only get level 99. It's like, okay then, I'll get that. And that always very prominently stood in my, in my mind. I mean, I am a pretty big completionist. As you guys would know from all my Nintendo Let's Plays, I always gotta do 100% on that. And I was always like that as a kid. And my freaking game percentage was like 87% and I just beat the final boss. I had to go back and find everything and it wasn't it actually was a lot more extensive when I was a kid too because my ideal of being a completionist was doing seriously every single thing you can in the game talking to every single NPC uh, and Golden Sun for example you could mind read people so I would talk to every NPC in the game mind read them go through every option you can when you talk to them and holy crap it's like how how do you like that that took up a lot of time and I would be in like one single town for like ages just like mind reading everybody and talking and going through every single possible outcome I could see just to see what you know what happened but uh I can't do that anymore <laughs> wow I'm shocked I killed that guy with the freaking Miss Green Hippo sword look at this finish the arena guess what Miss Green Hippo in your face bam yeah that's you green bam I'm breaking you yeah <laughs> I think there's a lot of green Minecraft isn't there but yeah, so, uh, promised to get 99 every skill on RuneScape. It didn't happen. <laughs> However, I did make pretty good progress. I got a lot further than, uh, I thought I would. Wow, that, this is actually starting to look like an actual arena. Um, here, we'll just place these round. Oh, nope, not that close. Uh, yeah, I actually did pretty well, I think, all things considered. Oh, I, I just couldn't place one there. I couldn't figure out why. It's because there's a vine there. Nope, I want to place it right there. So, I guess placing these here makes it a bit easier to traverse. Nope, I don't want to make it that easy. I mean, there's still a chance, like, you know, we can not jump properly or over jump in and fall into the water. So, that's a nice little hazard. I'm going to, like, actually leave, like, a section here that has no lily pad just so, you know, if you want to get out of, like, this area in a cinch, you couldn't just jump across like this. You would have to swim a bit. Break that and that. There we go. Yeah, there's a little island here. <laughs> um, what other memories do I have of RuneScape? I mean, I got pretty addicted to RuneScape. I actually last episode I was talking about addictions, and I didn't think of um, computer-related stuff like RuneScape, for example, or Minecraft. No, I, I don't kind of really say I was ever addicted to Minecraft. I always enjoy playing Minecraft, but I don't think I've ever been like I gotta play Minecraft. But RuneScape, I would, like, I remember in the summers, I would wake up and, and like, uh, hmm, I don't remember what I did. Well, I do kind of remember what I did in this section, but I don't remember very fluently what I, what I'd do. Uh, I think, you know what, should I just go check, you know, I'm just going to go check and blur it out again. St stupid future Chris having to stupidly edit everything and get all frustrated, like, ugh. Stop giving me more work! Ah! Where is the section I'm thinking about? Is it over here? Where is it? What? No. It's, it's, it's over here. Oh, well, you guys can't see us anyway, so I should probably... <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember waking up at like freaking 6 a.m. before my parents even went to work during the summer just to play me some Rune Escape. Rune Run Escape, as some people called it, as a LOL Jake. JK, LOL Jake. Jake the dog. Okay, that's pretty easy to do, actually. Um, and yeah. Uh, I, I remember what, I would seriously get like four to five hours of sleep, wake up, and just go go right back to the grinds. Just not really because it's like, I have to compete with people. I have to be the number one player in the world. It was never really that. It was more just I really enjoyed it. And especially because of the time I played RuneScape, I, it was when I lived in a small farm town. And while I lived in town, so I, there was some people I could go like and visit and hang out with as a kid without traveling long distances or begging my parents to take me. But for the most part, everyone was busy with other things most of the time. So uh, the thing with living in a small farm town, at least you know when you're kids and you can't like just drive out to see people, is a lot of the time it's pretty freaking boring. So you gotta find ways to entertain yourself. And my way was RuneScape. So I pretty much no life RuneScape quite a bit. But you know it. I mean, a lot of people that stop playing or stop playing like RuneScape or really any big MMO, they're like, oh, I can't believe I wasted all my time with that. But I don't look at it that way. I had fun with it. It was great times, my life. 
I wouldn't trade it for a thing. And I don't want to miss it. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, it was just fun. We were training, like, summoning. So we could summon freaking stupid things, like titans. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to. Alright. So, I mean, so far, it just kind of looks like what I did over there and there. But this one's going to be a lot more shallow. And um, we're going to make, like, kind of like a trench. Kind of. You guys will see what I mean in a second here. I'm going to break these torches for now. And hope nothing spawns and murders my stupid ass. Uh, do I, uh, there's actually a few little more memories of RuneScape I have that I do want to go over. I do kind of like the, the idea of using Unoriginal Craft as a vlog. Or not really. Well, I guess it is still a video log. But it's not like a IRL video log. So can you really call it a vlog? I don't freaking know. But, um... Uh, I remember getting my friends, some of my friends to play it, and then they'd pretend to be interested in it, and then just immediately quit, quit because they realized it was a boring game. <laughs> I mean, relatively, it is a pretty boring game if, um, if you, like, kind of just piece it together. Yeah, I kind of like this. Yeah, even though I constructed most of this already in Creative World, but it's still kind of cool to see. And you could, like, uh... Here, I do want to beef this side up a little bit more. Break that and that. That way, like, this side and this side can kind of make a beeline for each other. And, like, if this guy wanted to come over here and, like, snipe the guy coming out of this place, that'd be cool. <laughs> or really annoying. Um, here, let's make some, like, more coverage. I need more coverage. Maybe, like, hide. You can't see me, assholes! Uh, yeah, let's leave some little sniping spots. Yeah, I remember getting my friend, my best friend, uh, Michael to play it, and I remember just walking around the place, and we met up with some girl, or, or so she said, so she said she was a girl, I guess there's really no way to know, <laughs> but, um, her name was Shakira, after the singer, it's, it's weird, whenever I think of the sinner, or, singer Shakira, that's what I think of now, RuneScape, but, um, I don't really think I like this that much, actually. I don't like these. I thought I would, and I do kind of want to do some... Well, I kind of liked it over here, though. Yeah, when I think of Shakira, I think of RuneScape now, just because of this girl in it. And Michael was like, yeah, meet my friend Shakira! And then instead of saying hi like a normal person, I remember distinctively saying, Flying Tulsers will one day rule the world! And that just kind of turned to a reoccurring joke with my friend. <laughs> Where, uh, well, it's not really a reoccurring joke. It's just kind of a, a, remember, a remember when kind of thing. Alright, so I don't think this is too bad here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go up one more level. Uh, oh, it's hard making these tiny hills and making them look semi-natural. Like, that does not look natural at all. It's like garbage. Ugh. Bam! Bam! Yeah, sniped, son. Some, like random peas like that, like that works too. Hmm. Oh, see, my creative world actually made this like trench a lot more skinnier. It was actually hard to get through. That's the thing. I guess I do gotta kind of think of ways to balance out the arena so people just can't like straight out murder each other super easily. Like, this doesn't really look too good, but we'll let the grass grow and we'll come back to that. Um. Wow, I've pretty much done everything I want to today, actually. Made my water. I guess I could bone meal the place up a bit. And I did want to put some trees. But I do want to finish building all the obstacles around. There's one more thing I want to put in the middle here. And after that, I'm just going to pretty much bone meal and place a whole bunch of trees. And after that, I just have to really do the tunnels. Oh, yeah, and the walls. Good lord. I don't know. Actually, maybe I should just kind of go into my creative world here for a second. Block everything out for now. And fly up to where my walls are. Because I need help with this, guys. Uh, alright, I'm blurred now. Oh my god, it's a creeper! <laughs> um, oh no, you guys can't see. Stop it! Stop cheating! Stop it! Uh, wait, did I? I guess I started my walls here. So, essentially, what I want to do is. No, 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 no! You guys are allowed to see that. Is. I want to have, like. The wall. I want to have two sections of arches. Like this first layer of arches here, go all the way around, 
Yeah, I think I don't think there's a way I'm gonna be able to do this without you guys without spoiling the inside of the arena and have the arches like match out perfectly with this. You see how this works? Like this arch ends where this corner of the circle ends. You see? And then it lines up here as well. Like this part like this first arch ends. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> this first arch ends here and here, right? Great, super. And I imagine plan it out so it lines up perfectly that as you place the amount of blocks going with this arch, which is actually I should even show that. I go two up, then two more, then one, then one, then back down. Uh, I imagine plan it out so it works out perfectly on this side. Now the issue is because the arches get bigger that uh, I still can work it out. Oh, here I'll actually showcase this as well so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. All right, so there's only half an arch here, right? So what I really want to do is do a second layer of arches where the arch begins in the center of the first arch. You see? You see? This second column is in the middle of these two, but it's over here. And what I want wanted to do is make arches so, like, going along, like in this angled arch right here it still manages to be in the center however I am having a lot of issues figuring out how the heck to do that and if anybody is a good builder or has any recommendations like look at this crap I don't even know what this is actually I think this is just where I came to the issue when I'm trying to combine them I'll start over here because I I normally did start over here so yeah, I use these this grass block here to mark where my middle was and see I go up and then I do the two 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 one 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 two 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 um, and see it'll land right here and this is kind of the center but the thing is like this gets close to this as well meanwhile like these arches here there's two blocks in between them right but here wait what what where, where am I oh I guess it is still two blocks I think right yeah something like that <laughs> but um yeah so uh, do you guys see my issue here I mean these these two arches are different arches, but like they're this one this one here is just two blocks to the right of that one. See my issue? If anyone knows how to really do arches and could help me figure out how to do this, I don't remember how much the count is with this. I don't want to go in the middle because I don't want to spoil to you guys what the middle has in store. If anyone knows much about arches and could help me with these circles, I could give you guys some information. Uh, actually, I'll put on the screen right now how big the circle is. I don't know offhand how big it is, and then how big the first the the circumference of the circle of this first arch, and then this arch as well. Actually, I guess circumference is the wrong word. Like, wait, is it circumference? Where do I? Where would it be diameter? I think it's diameter, right? Anyways, <laughs> going back to an original craft. Yeah, so I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to showcase. Hopefully I'll be able to blur stuff out. That might be a pain in the ass to edit without spoiling what was in the middle here. Because that's really the only thing I was kind of worried about spoiling. Um, yeah. So we, I guess that's really it for building today. We're done. We're done, son. I don't got none unless you got buns, hun, or something. But, uh, yeah. Let's go back, let's go over to spawn and explore for a few more minutes. I don't know how long this episode's going. Last episode I didn't time it, and I think it kind of worked out well, because I kind of feel I'm a bit more stressed when I time my episodes. I'm like, oh, I have this much time to fill. I don't know what to talk about. But if I just kind of do it like this, and, oh, speed boost. I got a little bit of speed boost. And when I don't time my episodes, I'm kind of just more relaxed in general, and I can think freer, you not have to worry about crap. I don't have a care in the world, a care in the world. A Carol from The Walking Dead in the world. Did you guys see the season beginning of um, The Walking Dead? Or the mid-season something? <laughs> What's this? What? Resford J. Aw, Jay's gone. Jay will never be able to reserve. Brr, brr. Wood. Dirt stone. Oh, God. Whoa. No. What has happened to my body? My duck body. Valuables. I don't remember whose um, chest this was. But this is actually someone who left the server. I feel like it was Nova actually, but that was that feels like that was way too long ago for that to still be surviving here. Um Yeah. I, I guess I pretty much talked about all I wanted to in this episode. So I guess I get I guess I could end it now. Um in the chat. Uh who was it? Oh crap, someone said they had a new store in town. Let's see if we can find that. 
Uh, most of the new development in spawn seems to be more towards this way. Me, 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 me. I was doing Indiana Jones theme song for whatever reason when I start to run or I need like a small transitioning song when I have nothing to really say. Uh, is a new thing going to be over here? Possible picnic area. Well, not no more. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, it could totally be a picnic there still. Look at our beautiful town hall. So many happies. Velociraptor Pond. <laughs> I still don't know why it's called that. Uh, whoo! Don't break that, please. Don't drop that dun dun on. Ooh, is this new? I don't think I recognize this. 420 stonery and masonry closed for renovation. Haha! -ha, screw that! Chisel. What? What? Whose store is this? Stone purchase. Pay here. How much are things? I want to know how much things are. How much are things, guy? Armor stand. Tell me. I thought I thought that pink glass over there was a pig, but no, it's not. Oh man, I could actually make use of this for my arena because I am a lazy asshole and I don't want to mine my own things or create them. Ooh, diorite. None. None. Not that I could buy it anyways, but none. None of the things. Ah! Ooh, I. Oh, that design's really cool. I like it. Zero out of ten. I mean, ten out of ten. Count to one to end the pearls from Mr. Depp. Oh, this is Mr. Depp. Oh, wait. Whose place is this? Because is this Depper giving people stuff at his own store, or did someone deliver these? And then there were four. Or did Mr. Depper deliver these to whoever was working on the store? I don't know, man. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, man. I'm gonna take some Ender Pearls. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming that it's um Mr. Depper's store or Dr. Depper, and then he's giving those to everybody. Oh, it's in the center chest. <gasps> Every time I see that book, I'm like, oh my god, there's stuff in there. I mean, there's a book in here, a mystery book. But then I remember, yeah, it's my under chest that I put my book in there for my store. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll end it off here. This is And we're back! Sorry about that. My freaking recording just stopped working randomly. I don't freaking know what's going on. This is the forest. Yay, look at all this redstone. It's beautiful. Ah, resets. Prototype with some missing parts because I ran out. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be the forest. More on that later. Maybe. Look, it's the actual forest. Yay! Yeah, this is, a, this is a mini game being developed. But yeah, I, I guess I should call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, what I'm trying to do. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is, but it looks beautiful. There's also the forest related stuff. It might be. There's redstone there. What is this? Is this just a random structure? Oh, I thought it was like a big house or something, but no. It's, oh, 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 wait. wait there, oh, maybe there's something here. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and start recording a random episode every day I'm home. That, like, if, if I have work and then I don't do anything after work, I will record. But like, let's say if I go to my girlfriend's or something, I'm not going to record because I go home at 10 and then I pretty much got to... The only way I get like 8 hours of sleep is if I go to bed right at 10, which I don't. When I go to bed at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or it's crazy times. Oh, speaking of which, it's actually almost 10 p.m. already. What the heck? Thank you guys so much for watching. I need to stop this episode because it's probably getting pretty long. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you already. My name's Chris. Did I ever finish saying what I was saying? Planted trees for projects. Project cancelled. Feel free to cut them down if you need wood. Kenny. No. The 10 shall become 1. Well, that's all ominous considering members leaving and stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to start recording episodes. Just getting on. I, my biggest issue is like, I can't record because I just got to sit and watch grass grow in my arena. When in reality, I've just decided to just make it so I just record myself and talk over it. So now that I'll just kind of record doing whatever, even if it's kind of grindy stuff. Um, at least I'll be posting episodes and they'll be making progress and the only way the arena is going to get done is if, <laughs> if I do it this way. The only thing I don't know what I'm going to do about is creating the paths. Although I guess I can show myself creating one path of the arena because I already show myself doing one and I do feel constructing all four on camera would not only take a crap ton of episodes but it would also just not really... It, like. 
there's one thing to watch someone place the same block over and over again, but it, it'd be really at least annoying to me if I watch someone make the same rooms over and over again. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Goodbye! Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!